Hi, I'm Mark Posner from the Cypress College Public Information Office. Welcome to this edition of the At Cypress Channel. Joined uh, by Frank Garcia. Frank is our Man of the Year for Americana this year. Let me start by saying congratulations. Thank you very much. And it's an honor. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so let's uh, start with La Casa Garcia. Tell me a little bit about uh, your business and uh, how you became involved in the community. Well, I started La Casa Garcia here 28 years ago. And uh, because I've been in the restaurant business uh, for 50, since I was six, seven years old. I started in the kitchen when I was nine, and I've become a cook when I was 12. You've been uh, maybe a little bit humble about how far you've uh, become. I mean, you started uh, young, and, but uh, you started uh, cleaning the dishes, and now you have not, not just a restaurant, but two. Tell me a little bit about how that comes to be. Well, I used to pick cotton in Texas when I was six, seven years old. But in between the heat and rattlesnakes and everything, I think it wasn't for me. I respected people who were farm workers. But uh, I said, well, I always loved to cook. And I went, I went to the restaurant and started working as a dishwasher for $10 a week. You know, and uh, at least I knew where the next meal comes to help my, my mom and dad because I always thought I was rich, but, uh, uh, you know, I was poor. I had a, we live in a, a uh, 400 square feet house and uh, step at the floor, but we were happy. We had mom, we had food, we pray every day. And I always, since I was a kid selling tamales uh, for 35 cents, my mom always say, uh, I told mom, that lady who want to give me a 25 cents, uh, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And I see my mom work, my mom working, donating his time in church, donating his time making for the community. And I think I learned to give back. And I always used to get mad, my mom to say what always she was busy and helping, volunteering. Now I understand that's why when I started working in the kitchen and was a chef in California, I was 16 years old, I always have in my mind that, that I have to give back because you know so there's people out there that, that don't have a plate in front of them and everything or help. I like to help people. And, and I think I got it out of my mom because my mom was a giver, you know, and that, that's why I think that my success that I did in the restaurant business is because you give a piece of the pie back to the community. It's what it's all about, you know, because, uh, you know, it's better to have a little piece than nothing. A lot of people, you know, they, they try to take their whole, all the money, and I like to give that part of it. That's a perfect segue because we're sitting here in front of the uh, mural with uh, all these turkeys. I think that's a perfect segue into uh, the We Give Thanks, uh, which started in the parking lot and now is uh, it's a huge number of people at the Honda Center. How did that come to be? Well, you know, uh, thank God that uh, we had a restaurant and we had food in the, in our house and everything, but it was the same, not the same thing again, the family, the same. Thank God for the food front, but I say, who's those people don't know, don't have what we have? And I told my, my wife that I was gonna close the restaurant and give food away. And she always thought I was crazy. She said, you crazy, what happened? Are you gonna have a whole bunch of people we can't take care of? They said, well, there's a man upstairs that can help us, you know, and I think God would be with us that would do it. The first year, I started talking to different friends of mine and I told him about my idea. I said, Frank, we support you. Frank, we support you. And, I said, and then I go to the feet clubs and the Tijuana's and everything. And I said, I need some volunteers. We're there for you. The first year we did here was 3,000 people. So we did really good. Uh, we cooked here uh, for two days. So we had about maybe 100 turkeys and day and night gravy, mashed potato, everything. And it was tough, but, but you know what? It came out good. We had a parking lot, people donated his head. Uh, there were some tough times that they, uh, I had to call the media and said, you know, I'm short of turkeys, but uh, everything put, all the people put a piece of the rock. But my, 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 what I like about it, it's uh, kids to teach the kids to give back the way I do it. Well, your family's all involved in the restaurant. I think, you know, perhaps La Casa Garcia is a, a great name. I mean, it, it is kind of like, home to see the kids here. Do you, do you feel that 
uh, that's something that they need to learn? I think a kid's supposed to learn how to give back because you know a lot of people don't know how a lot of open when I, I used to take uh, food to Tijuana, I take kids because to let them know how poor people are and how good we have it. You know, if if, if you have a plate of food in front of a little house or a car, that's rich. Okay, a lot of people they need big money, but I think uh, it's rich. And what what I like to do is educate the kids to give back. That's what uh, bless me. When I see a kid eating an apple, uh, you tell them what that's given, they don't know what that's given. Uh, it's kind of bad because everybody in Halloween, after Halloween, everybody's waiting for Christmas and they forget about the day that we have to give thanks to the men upstairs, the Lord, Papa Dios, that we have a plate in front of us and I hope that everybody has a plate. That's why that day is so important to us. That's why I serve turkey and mess hotels and everything because the tradition is turkey. A lot of people say, why well, don't have Mexican food? Is that not a tradition of Thanksgiving, the Indians and the Indians? That's why I'm going to keep serving turkey all my life, you know, for Thanksgiving Day. Uh, one other thing that strikes me looking at the uh, mural behind us is uh, you're there wearing your Americana medallion when you were a citizen of the year from Anaheim. You've been involved with the uh, college now for a while. Tell me a little bit about uh, why education is important to you. Uh, education is important because I didn't have the education because uh, I went five years uh, school. I was five years old. I was 15 years old and I was five. I didn't have the time to, for education because I uh, had to work and I have, I have other mother. My father was, used to work in the field station, had a heart problems. My mother made tamales and I think I had to work. My brothers all were in the service, Korean War. I, I had a, a medal of a Purple Heart a brother that was in Korea. And that means that I had to uh, be involved with it. And I think that right now, if a person is hearing me and everything, I think if you have some money extra, extra, that you can afford to give a kid that don't need afford to go to college, please do it for a reason. That kid is anxious to go to college. But sometimes it's so tough to go to college that, uh, you know, at least uh, give a scholarship for maybe uh, for the books, for the parking, every little bit counts to go to college because I I love when I see a kid, a person kid out of high school dying to go to college. But some people come from families that don't have. That's why I like the, the Americana uh, award that you do because uh, I wish I could get award about 30 years ago, but you know I got about five years ago and six I got the citizen of the year. Now it's, it's like, I, I think it's my second time that I told Bill Clinton one time. It's like hitting the lottery when they give me the point of life in what they see. And I was there with Mrs. Clinton. This is hitting the lottery again too because it's a man of the year of Orange County. That's a top you know, compete with, uh, with Tony, uh, that's a tough one. But I think uh, if uh, people are seeing me, please open your wallets, open your checkbook. And if you have money to donate for this, for that kid that won't go to college real bad, please, out of my heart, do it. Because you know what? It's what it's all about. That's the, those are the people, maybe that kid will be the President of the United States next year, or in, in five years, 10 years. Please donate. Of course, it's hard time, but you know what? There's always money for helping kids to go to college. That's it. Probably a great place to stop, and I never like to stop at a great place to stop. I want to ask you for uh, maybe a favorite memory from uh, We Give Thanks, or I, you know, I know you've uh, been Santa before. Uh, just kind of something that touched your heart uh, from one of the uh, events that you've put together. A little girl uh, sent me a letter, and uh, and it was so touching because she said, that he, he, the teacher told him, he said, who, who important person in the world who you write, you recommend, who, who will be the important person for you? And he did a nice letter and he picked me. And I was so touched with that because so many important people in the world and he had to be me. You know, and, uh, and, and there's some uh, people that, that, there's a man that came in one time looking for a son, looking for his dad for, you have seen 15 years. And all of a sudden, you know, on Thanksgiving Day, he found him, took him, he had a Corvette, took him, 
and with whom. And they're on and on. And if you see a kid there eating a turkey and an apple and ice cream and happy, that's like a big family. When we do the Thanksgiving dinner, we bless it. We have a, a you know, uh, Amazing Grace is my favorite song in that. And uh, uh, but the main thing is to teach those kids. I have 1,500 volunteers. Out of the 1,500, 80% of the youth from every college, from every high school, junior highs. And you know, they, they, they learn to give. And that's what you want to teach those kids because you know, it's so nice to give back to the community and volunteer, volunteer. If the volunteers will run the world, well, we don't have a problem because no volunteers will. I like to, to see a volunteer working. They know they're not getting nothing, but they're getting out of the heart. That's what I like about that. A lot of things that happen in lifetime in Thanksgiving, and I never want to stop doing it. They want me to stop, but I think I'll be rolling behind it all the time, but uh, I don't know if I can stop. Frank, thank you very much for everything you do, for taking the time this morning, and uh, obviously for helping us out at the college. Really and appreciate it. Thank you very much. For this. It's an honor for me to be the, the man of the year of Orange County, and oh wow, you know, it's a... Uh, out of my heart. I wish my mom and dad were alive and just touch it. And, and a little kid out of a little town, please be all three population. And being a man of the year, White House, and done what I've done, and at where I'm at, thank God, thank my mom and dad. And you guys, you know what? I'll be supporting you uh, until God takes me away. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for it.